hey guys how are you doing god bless each and every one of you in the name of jesus how are you hope you're well and safe so in today's video we're going to be talking about how to effectively cleanse your home yes you need to cleanse your home to get rid of bad energies, to get rid of negativity, to get rid of unwanted spirits that causes you delay, that causes you setback, that causes you shame, that causes you all sorts of evil. Okay? So the last video I posted, I talked about how to identify these strange spirits that are not welcomed the signs that you will experience and you will know that yes a strange spirit has come into my home a strange spirit has been here with me so as to take it out so if you haven't seen the video please see the other video how to identify these strange spirits the signs that you will feel as a human being one thing i tell people be very very spiritually at a lot so as to know when unusual things are happening and how to take quick actions all right so watch the video before you watch this particular cleansing method it is really good to cleanse your home it is super effective all right this method is effective purely if you follow the steps i'm i'm going to list out i tell you your home will be totally free from negative energies perfectly well all right before we go into the video if you see me for the first time you're most welcome my name is amanda and you're welcome to catholic reflection family a place of prayer mm -hmm. if you want to learn how to pray this space is for you if you already know how to pray but you need partners like prayer partners to help you pray or to lift your spirits more this prayer this space is for you this beautiful and amazing space is for you do me a favor and be a part of this growing community this beautiful and safe space of mine subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notification you know that bell that says all oh, the tiny one beside the subscription box please turn it on it informs you whenever i go live i go live twice a day 6 30 a.m nigerian time for our morning declaration every day then 9 p.m nigerian time for divine mercy prayer every day who doesn't need the mercy of god i need the mercy of god so please be part of this prayer this live stream prayer i do live stream so please be part of them and god will bless you effectively and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up i want each and every one of you coming across this video to give you the thumbs up it is not um it is not a coincidence that you met this channel today you were meant to be here you were meant to pray with me and together god would deliver you in the name of jesus amen and amen so this is a disclaimer i don't own an orphanage i don't direct people to orphanages all right if anyone chats you up or replies your comment that you should donate to a certain orphanage that is not me i don't even tell people where to go if you want to give to someone if you have if you want to extend do charity work just there are people around you in your community in your city in your country that need help extend the help to them god bless you so if you mistakenly pick up a wrong whatsapp number and um they tell you to give them money to buy spiritual items for them or to pray for you that is not me please be very careful there are lots of people trying to scam people i don't know why they're doing it but please be careful please let's go straight into the video watch this video to the end don't skip before we go into this cleansing i want you to come with me to the book of luke chapter 10 verse 19 luke 10 19 and i read it says listen i have given you authority so that you can walk on snakes scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy i have given you authority before you cleanse your home I want you to know that God has already given you authority, meaning you're now in charge. Your home is a resting place. You should have peace each time you're at home. You should progress in your home. Things should work for you. You should be free from night or scary nightmares in your home. So if you're not experiencing growth, 
if you're not experiencing blessings, if nothing is working for you, if whenever you step your feet into your home and it looks like the atmosphere changes, sorry, and it looks like the atmosphere changes and it's looking like you're sad, you're gloomy, you need to really, really cleanse your home. And I want you as you're cleansing it, just remember this word of God in this scripture we just read. He has given you authority, meaning any strange spirit that has entered into your home, you have authority over them. So when you're praying, when you're cleansing, pray effectively and do not look back. So this is the things you need to cleanse your home with. One, you need olive oil. Olive oil. The second thing you need is salt. The salt. And the third thing you need is camphor. I've talked about camphor. If you follow me well enough, you will know camphor. It is is in block form. It's not the one you put in your clothes. That's this one they call spiritual camphor. You need that comfort. Then you need a boil of water to cleanse your home. So I'll go through it again. You need olive oil. You need salt. You need camphor and a boil of water. So these are the four things you need and your Bible because you will be speaking into your home. This is your home. It is your home. It is your resting place. So you have every authority. You have every right to claim and be happy in your home. No spirit, no power has the right to suppress you in your home. Okay, so if you've gotten these four things, this is how to effectively cleanse your home. First of all, you start up with praises. Start praising. Five minutes praise is enough. You praise God for an opportunity to live in a home. No matter even if it's a rented apartment, even if it is one room, a, a room that you're squatting with, no matter the, the room, no matter as long as it's your space, you see that your small space, let it be your all. That your small space you've acquired, no matter how small that space is, please make it a very comfortable space for yourself. So you start by praising God. Why praising God? You thank him for at least having a shelter, a roof over your head. When you're done, you begin to mop the floor. This is where you need salt and water. Put salt into water, then pray with it. Put salt into the water. Pray Psalm 91 into the water. You can write the scriptures down. Remember the first scripture, Luke 10 verse 19. You taking authority. It tells you that God has given you authority. The second scripture is Psalm 91. You go ahead and pray it into that bucket of water. I would advise you also pray Psalm 35 because sometimes the spirits, they tend to be stronger than you feel. Psalm 35, let God arise and fight for you so when you pray into that water let me tell you there is power in your spoken words you have more power than you think don't let anyone tell you otherwise you see the words you speak carries power when you know you're standing in christ when you know who you are in christ you can tell the mountain like god said be thou removed your faith being high be thou removed and that mountain you move so we move so whatever prayers you're doing please believe effectively that it is answered believe effectively that your prayers has been answered don't doubt it so when you get that water and you've prayed over that water begin to use it to mop your floor you can add detergent into it mop the floor of your house mop your doors mob your doors is really really important to mob your doors most times the spirits what they do they place their hands on your door they don't need to when the enemy comes to you they don't need to enter your house once they place your hand on your door it transfers straight into your home and it will start causing havoc so mob your door front and back when you mop your door without salt water, when you're done mopping your door, right? The second thing you're going to do, you pick up your olive oil. You start from your door. Up 
you you anoint up and anoint down as you're anointing this is where the prayer of Psalm 35 becomes effective in your mouth content oh lord with those who who content with me any man any woman contenting with me anyone that provokes or invokes any evil against me i destroy them any spirit that is not of the lord any spirit that brings me any negative energy that brings me pain by the authority of god and by the power of this anointing the bible says anointing breaks the yoke let that spirit be totally destroyed the ones that cause me nightmares may they be destroyed you anoint your doors front and back front and back i mean the exit like the back now this is i'm going to use my bible so this is the front of the door this is the back of the door so you anoint here and anoint here you anoint your windows too mm? anoint your windows if you have chairs around anoint your chairs anoint everywhere when you're going to do this um cleansing please try as much as possible to bring out time don't be in a hurry so that you know what to say you know the things that are oppressing you you know the things that are bringing you pain this this cleansing is effective for those that are always quarreling in their homes every time there is trouble every time there is quarrel husband and wife cannot sit down in peace and have a, a normal conversation it is from one trouble from one quarrel to the other declare from today no more quarrels in my home my home will not be a home of quarrels my home will not be encountering those strange spirits again that pushes us to quarrel that pushes us to hate each other no more hatred in my home no more hatred in my home declare what you want you see those things those things those signs you've been seeing no more strange dreams no more lack whatever that have ceased finances in this home whatever that have ceased the inflow of money in this home i destroy you today as your anointing you'll be praying as your anointing will be you'll be praying i plead the blood of jesus over this home this home belongs to christ so therefore any spirit that is not of the lord is totally and entirely destroyed as you're doing it you anoint your home when you're done anointing bring comfort this is the time to bring comfort i don't have a comfort but i'm going to show you how it looks like it is white it is it is not as small as this it's in a block form right but it's flat is white like this don't use the normal comfort they put in clothes please don't use the normal comfort they put in clothes just bring this type i is the sell it in amazon i think they sell it in ebay's then if you live in nigeria go to where they sell spiritual things spiritual stores you can find a comfort there please go ahead and do it so when you anoint your home when you bring the comfort you burn the comfort please let the smoke go round it has the strength to absorb negative energies every negative energy in your house it will absorb them it will keep absorbing those negative when you first burn this camphor if there are so much negativity you will notice that the the smoke will be so dark the smoke will be extremely dark don't burn it one time Burn it maybe two times or three times. As you're burning it, as you're burning it, the smoke will be reducing. The darkness of the smoke will be reduced. But when you newly burn it, especially when a home that is filled with negativity, it will be so, if, if you see how the darkness will be, the smoke will be so dark, it's absorbing. Let me tell you one testimony from this council. So one of my family friends came to me and said she could hardly sleep. That her late brother-in-law keeps disturbing her. If she's sleeping, he will he will be disturbing. They will hear footsteps. They will hear noise in the kitchen. She could not sleep any night time. Once it is night, she will not sleep again because she will be scared. And she stays alone. Her husband traveled, and she stays with just a little baby. She's a newborn mom, like she just gave birth, and she didn't know what to do. When she complained of this, I said, "Okay, bring camphor, burn the camphor in your home." So she brought she bought that comfort that day. She burnt that comfort in her home. Lo and behold, that spirit stopped. It stops every negative spirit. Negative spirits hovering around you. Just burn it. Be patient. Burn it that day. 
burn it the next day burn it keep burning it you won't experience that stirring spirit up until today that guy has not disturbed them again he's a young boy that just died like that so his spirits have not found rest he's just roaring about disturbing breaking things and all that so he died prematurely so that aside use this comfort especially when you're having bad dreams especially when if you stay in your house you'll be hearing sounds footsteps you'll be hearing conversation of people when you look around you can't find them you'll be experiencing noise in your ceiling when and no one is there so use this comfort to remove them so you can burn this comfort and when it burns you see the smoke and you will know so the last one to do when you've done all this when you've cleansed your home, you're sure you've prayed. Please, if you're doing any of these things, be praying. Remember, God has given you authority. Don't be scared. This is your home. You won't run away from them. You're not going to run away because um, there's a strange spirit in your home. So if you run away and pack into another house, as long as it's not from the foundation of that home, please. If they, that evil is from the foundation of that home, pack out from that place. But if it is not from the foundation of that home, if you notice that you just packed in and nothing, nothing is wrong and all of a sudden it started happening, do it. But if you notice that from the onset you packed into that home, that it was happening, know that it's from the foundation. There are lots of people having foundational, faulty foundations. Their, their homes are faulty and they know that their homes are faulty. Probably they laid foundation with human blood or human head and it disturbs tenants please don't even try and pray look for money borrow money pack out from that place because it will drain you that blood that was spilled in that house will keep speaking and it's from the foundation so please try as much that is every night you'll be fighting wars spiritual wars that you don't know about pack your things and leave go to another place okay so go to another place if it's from the foundation go to another place but if it's not from the foundation of that place you can do it you can cleanse your home when you're done cleansing your home, you know you're done. Please bring cinnamon. Grind cinnamon. Open your door. Cinnamon is an attraction for good things. Since you've removed the bad energies, since you've removed the evil things that are tormenting you, what are you attracting in your home? Buy cinnamon. Blend it yourself. From your door, outside door, the entrance to your house, blow the cinnamon into your home and declare exactly what you want to see declare the good things that you want to see happen in your home declare the blessings you want to start experiencing in your home and i tell you the truth you will forever have a peaceful home you will, you will be surprised how blessings will start flowing in you'll be surprised how money in abundance will start flowing in you'll be surprised how good things will start happening to your home do this and tell me how it went okay thank you all so much for being here god bless you entirely do not forget to give the video a thumbs up if you've watched up until now don't forget to share to people don't, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up god bless you entirely have a beautiful and amazing day ahead of you i'll see you some other time god bless you